Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose a and b are real numbers and n is a positive integer. Then the absolute value of a to the n minus b to the n is less than or equal to the absolute value of a minus b times n times the maximum of absolute value of a and absolute value b to the power of n minus 1. So to prove this theorem, we're going to start out by giving ourselves two real numbers, a and b. And from here, we're going to proceed by induction to show for all positive integers n, this inequality is true. So let's start with the base case. In the base case, we're trying to show that this inequality is true in the case where n is equal to 1. Now, if we look at what the left-hand side becomes, well, that's just going to be absolute value of a minus b. And the right-hand side is going to be absolute value of a minus b times 1 times a real number to the power of 0, which is just 1. So the left-hand side and the right-hand side are going to be equal. And so this completes the base case. Now let's move on to the induction step. In the induction step, we give ourselves an arbitrary positive integer n, and we assume that this inequality holds for that positive integer n. The whole goal of the induction step at this point is to show that this inequality is also true, where instead of n, we have n plus 1. So really, this is what we're trying to show. Now, for convenience, we're going to write the maximum of absolute value of A and absolute value B by the letter capital M. And now, we're going to show that this inequality is true. Now, let's start out by writing the left-hand side. Now, we want to somehow use our induction hypothesis. And currently, we have a to the power of n plus 1 minus b to the power of n plus 1. But we want to somehow get a to the power of n minus b to the power of n into our work. And to do that, what we can do is we can add and subtract something. What we're going to do is we're going to add and subtract a times b to the power of n. So just like that. And now, what we're going to do here is we're going to apply the triangle inequality, which says the following. For all real numbers, capital A and capital B, we have that the absolute value of capital A plus capital B is less than or equal to the absolute value of capital A plus the absolute value of capital B. And so applying this inequality into our proof, the absolute value of this entire thing is less than or equal to the absolute value of this guy plus the absolute value of this guy. So we get this. And now, what we're going to do is, in these two terms, we're going to factor out an a. So we get this. And for these two terms, we're going to factor out b to the n. So we get this. And then if you recall, the absolute value of a product is equal to the product of absolute values. So really, this guy is equal to this. This guy is equal to this. And another property of absolute values tells us that absolute value of b to the n is equal to absolute value b to the n. So really, we can move the n outside of the absolute value. These two guys are equal. And now at this point, since we have absolute value of a to the n minus b to the n, well, we know that absolute value of a to the n minus b to the n is less than or equal to this guy. So remember that the maximum of absolute value of a and absolute value of b is capital M. So we have the absolute value of a to the n minus b to the n is less than or equal to this guy. And I'm going to write that up here.
Now, since capital M is the maximum of absolute value of A and absolute value of a, B, this means absolute value of A is less than or equal to capital M. Absolute value B is less than or equal to capital M. But further, since absolute value B is less than or equal to capital M, well, clearly this guy is greater than or equal to zero. And there's a property of real numbers that tells us that this implies absolute value of B to the power of N is less than or equal to capital M to the power of N. Right? Sorry. This implies, right? This implies that this is true. So now, absolute value of A is less than or equal to something. Absolute value of A to the N minus B to the N is less than or equal to something. And absolute value of B to the N is less than or equal to something. Well, these three inequalities imply that this entire thing must be less than or equal to this guy, right? Because absolute value of A is less than or equal to this guy, absolute value of A to the N minus B to the N is less than or equal to this guy, absolute value of B to the N is less than or equal to this guy. This entire thing must be less than or equal to this entire thing, right? And so now from here, we see that m times m to the n minus 1 leaves us with m to the power of n. So just like that, from here we can factor out absolute value of a minus b times n to the n from both these terms. And we get this. And this is precisely equal to this. And so we've shown that this guy is less than or equal to this guy, which is exactly what we wanted to show. So this completes the induction step. And so we completed both the base case and the induction step. So this closes the induction. We've shown for all positive integers n, this inequality is true. And so this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.